up from my window Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shine Good morning guys and welcome back to another video I am very excited today Basically, today's video is going to be my I say attempt, I'm a little bit worried it's not gonna go that well. It's gonna be my attempt at covering the footstools that I bought. Now, I think the video before last, I explained my idea. Pretty much, I kept seeing these cubed footstool, ottoman kind of things on this company called McGee & Co. And I just really wanted them and I couldn't find them anywhere. So I decided that I was going to reupholster them myself. This morning the footstools came. I actually, I think I mentioned in that video, I really wanted to try and get some secondhand. I could not find two matching ones anywhere secondhand. I looked for ages. So I ended up going with two from Wayfair. And they are basically just in like a cream faux leather. So these are the footstools. Obviously they are in their packaging at the moment, but I feel like this gives you a good idea of how it will look. And I love it. Ellie actually had one of those over by the chair over there. Excuse our water softener salts that just arrived. But yeah, he put one over there to do some work earlier as like a footrest. And I just thought that's exactly what I want them for. I want them to be able to be moved to different parts of the house and just be really useful. They can also act as extra seating. So this is the fabric that I bought. If you can picture those covered in that fabric. I think it's gonna be a good match. It's kind of like a natural off-whitey cream and charcoal stripe. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're doing a bit of kind of pattern clashing. Um, but I feel like, is that a bit in at the moment? I don't know. The main piece of equipment I actually need for this is a sewing machine, which I already have, but yeah, I just bought a staple gun. I need this to be able to staple the underside just to make sure it looks all neat and professional. very well but I'm sure I can think of a way around it is I didn't get a staple remover so as you can see all the fabric is stapled the feet interestingly are stapled but that might do us a bit of a favor because it's they're actually a tiny bit too high just could do with being like a little bit lower just to match the height of the sofa it's really not the end of the world like it still feels really comfortable having your feet up on them but I think I would just not put the feet back on at the end. So I think it's probably not a bad thing, but yeah, I'm just gonna have to try and remove all of these staples just with a knife pretty much or a pair of scissors. So we'll see how that goes. So first things first, I need to remove this bottom cover thing with all the staples, take all the staples out. And I've got a staple undoer, which came in the box with a staple gun, which I'm very happy about. So between Elliot and I, I think it's taken us like an hour just to get the staples off. The issue with this ottoman is that we got them quite cheaply so from this place called wayfair and i just don't think they're particularly well made so the staples are literally all over the place some are really easy to get out some aren't there are way too many staples i think because the fabric is quite cheap as well um but <laughs> finally done so i've taken this off and i'm actually going to save this because i may reuse it it's not really in the best state but i may reuse this and I should now just be able to take off the white cover and having the white cover off should really help me to get the measurements right for my cover that I'm about to make. Okay, so that is off and I think we're pretty much good to go with the next step. So I'm gonna use the stitch marks here as a guide as to the width of each side. And it's 
a cube. So every size should be the same. What I'm gonna do though, just to make it a bit easier for myself. So instead of making four squares for the uh, outer sides, I'm gonna do them as two big panels. So I can just do two panels and stitch them together um, on two corners. So what I need to do, I need to measure this times it by two and then add on a little bit extra like they've done here that can be the seam. Okay, so if my measurements are correct, it's 39 centimeters with the whole way around, give or take a little bit. And then I'm gonna add on 1.5 centimeters to each side, so in total, three centimeters. The three centimeters bit, by the way, will be for a 1.5 centimeter seam on both sides. So this is my fabric laid out. And I actually thought that because the fabric, the stripes go this way, I thought it meant that I was gonna have to have horizontal stripes and I actually really wanted them to be vertical. But luckily the width of the fabric is perfect for this anyway. So I calculated it to be 81 because each side is 39 centimeters and then I'm adding that 1.5 on for each side, which is 81 in total if I've calculated it right. So I'm gonna measure 81 centimeters and it should actually be quite easy to cut apart from the fact that I cannot find my fabric scissors anywhere. So I'm just using some kitchen scissors, which is not ideal, but the stripes will act as like a kind of ruler for me, which is great. So I have my two pieces. Now what I'm gonna do is pin down the edge just because I don't know if I fully trust myself with a sewing machine. I just wanna make sure, I don't know, I just don't think I'm the most accurate sewer in the world. So I just wanna make sure I'm getting it right. It does make it a little bit easier that the material is striped to be honest. Yeah, basically you need to stitch down there and stitch down there. And if you can picture that, then if you pull the two pieces apart, we'll make a cube and cover this. Okay, my pins are in, and now it's time to get sewing. Right, this is kind of the moment of truth because if this uh, doesn't fit, then I'm gonna have to unpick it all, which would be pretty annoying. So I'm gonna turn that inside out. Hopefully you are kind of following what I'm doing and this makes sense because I feel like I'm explaining it really, really badly. <laughs> I've cut out the two squares that are gonna go on the top and I now just need to stitch them to these longer pieces. So wish me luck, because I feel like this bit is gonna be the trickiest bit, to be honest. I feel like it needs to be done very slow and controlled. So after a very stressful hour, because I didn't cut the top piece to quite the right shape, I think we have pretty much got here. I mean, there are things that I do differently if I did it again, and that would be to be more accurate with measuring. There are a few things that I need to kind of wiggle around, like the seams are not quite in the right places and I think it needs to just be wiggled around. I think tonight I'm gonna try and finish off this one and staple the bottom and then tomorrow get cracking with that one and hopefully it'll go a little bit better. Good morning guys, so it's actually the next day now. In fact, it's not the next day, it's the day after the next day. Yesterday I had a day in London. I worked from home with, worked from home? <laughs> worked from my cafe with my friend Kate. I took a few clips actually because the food we had was so nice. It was a bit of a throwback because we actually went to work on this road called Abbeville Road in Clapham South, which is where our first flat in London was. So me, Kate and my friend Flo, when we moved to London from Manchester, that's the, it was actually the only flat that we could get because I was self-employed. The property market in London is just actually insane. And it was the only one we got accepted on. And we turned up on the first day and we're basically like, wow, this is literally the most beautiful road. And we were very lucky that we had our first year in London there. Our second year, we just moved around the corner because we love the area so much. Definitely go if you visit London. It's kind of like a mini village, but really easy to just hop on the northern line from there. But I used to go and work in this cafe called Newground, 
which is just so lovely like the food's really nice the aesthetics great and we were like let's go and work from that so that's what we did yesterday i also went for dinner with a friend in the evening had a little stroll around clapham common and um, and yeah now i'm back do you know something i tried yesterday cadbury's are doing these like mystery filling chocolate bars and i saw them and i was like i really need to try those very good marketing I tried both of them. I've got no idea what the fillings are. I feel like one is like rose and one's like lemon cheesecake or something, but it's quite hard to actually put a finger on what they are. And I'm guessing it's not very obvious because otherwise obviously a lot of people will be guessing and you're meant to like win a prize. So that was cool. But I'm gonna get on with the Ottomans today, but I just had a package arrive from Amazon. Basically ordered a little kind of tray thing for having your laptop on so I can work on the sofa. Now, you might be thinking, why don't you just work at your desk? But because of the issues that I have with my knees, my knee really struggles to be in a 90 degree angle. So yeah, it just basically like really hurts when it's at that angle for a prolonged period of time. I'm meant to work with your laptop on a hard surface. And because I get this repetitive strain injury, I don't know if I've spoken about this before, but I basically get this pain like all, I sure is, I've got crumbs all over my jumper basically get this pain like all down the side of my hand and a, a very swollen hand quite often it's definitely from like overuse and editing youtube videos and things i went to the doctor the other day and they tried to prescribe me a, a strong kind of longer dose of anti-inflammatories which i really really don't want to take as you guys know i really suffer with my gut health and just making sure i don't get really bloated and things anyway and the idea of taking anti-inflammatories is just not that appealing for me because I know that my stomach will be like, no, <laughs> this is not what we need. They did recommend physio, which I'm sure I'll get at some point, but I really wanted to try and start using a mouse because online a lot of the recommendations are using a mouse rather than your um, uh, track patch thing. So this is what I bought. I mean, it's not the like, most gorgeous looking thing, but it's got a little um bit where you can use mouse on it's got a thing for your phone and i'm not sure what this bit's for but yeah pretty much enough space for my laptop this bit at the bottom is for your wrist as well so it's a nice comfy kind of thing for your wrist and it means that my laptop can be on a hard surface so yeah we'll see if this makes any difference hopefully it will elevate my sofa working life Right, so back to sewing the second top onto my little ottoman. Now the first one I did, the reason I didn't film too much of it is genuinely because I found it really stressful. Like I feel like my brain was like really struggling to figure it out. And I sewed it on the wrong way and then I had to unpick it. And this one, I feel like I've got a much clearer idea of what I'm doing. So I thought I'd try and talk you through it. But basically the square section, so there's a square here and that is the top and you've got to sew that on to every edge if that makes sense now the reason that's difficult is because once you've sewn one edge you have to keep the needle in lift up the presser foot rotate it and keep sewing but the material bunches up quite a lot so i was really worried that i wasn't going to be able to do it at all because like i said my sewing skills aren't amazing but i have figured it out and even if it doesn't look perfect I feel like when it's on it's not really noticeable so one of the corners on the one that i did the other day isn't like quite as nice as i'd want it but i'm just looking at it now and it doesn't really even bother me so i've pinned the square on to one of the sides so i'm gonna sew that i will try and explain what i'm doing apologies if this is a bit all over the place i'm just finding it quite difficult to actually talk through what i'm doing at the same time the mistake that i made last time is those two pieces that we sewed together they need to be this way round, so you need to turn them the right way round to sew on the top. Last time I had the raw edge sticking out and it just didn't quite work. <laughs> I have sewed a seam up there and then across there as well. I don't know if you can really see what I mean from here, but the corners are the bit that 
it's really hard. I actually really messed this one up. So I've gone over it a few times and it looks fine when it's folded out. So that's what it looks like when it's folded out, which is absolutely fine, but it just looks a bit of a mess behind the scenes. <laughs> but I'm just finding them a little bit tricky, uh, but I'll get going with the next two and then update you. Okay, so all four corners are stitched and it's kind of moment of truth now. I'm gonna turn it the other way and we'll see how this looks. Okay, well that one doesn't quite match up. We've got one very dodgy corner, one good one, another good one, and another good one. So this is the one that is looking a bit dodgy. I don't really know what to do about that, if I'm honest. Um, apart from maybe unpicking it and doing it again, but I don't really know if I want to be doing that. Right, so I redid the corner, and I'm really glad I did because it's looking a lot better. The issue was that one side was a bit longer than the other, so the way I resolved it was just bunching up half the fabric, so it was kind of I just need to tackle these corners so I guess I'm gonna kind of make a bit of a fold and staple it and then probably put those black covers back on the bottom although I might not actually do that because I'm not too sure if there's actually any point Very, very happy with them. Elliot really likes them as well. They're good, aren't they? Yeah, very I'm, nice. I'm very proud of myself. I feel like I've really, I've, I've outdone myself. I didn't realize I was capable of doing something like this. And they look so similar to the picture that I initially got the inspo from, the product that I got the inspo from as well. So, Elliot and I have had a bit of a weird few hours. <laughs> Pretty much, it started off. Sorry. You okay? No, you had Elliot falling out the door there started off with Elliot, basically, Elliot's not been happy, are you coming in for this bit? Yeah. Elliot hasn't been happy with the rug situation, have you? So no. since I moved that rug, which I loved downstairs, you you keep saying, basically, you're not a huge fan, but like, if, if we need to keep it, we can. Elliot just comes to me with his laptop, he's like, I really like a rug like this. And I was like, are you joking? And he's like, no, I really like this kind of thing, it's really nice. And I was like, we literally bought that rug. If you guys have been here for like the last couple of months, we bought this white rug that's kind of like, how do you describe it? Like, it's like a white jute rug. Sounds a bit strange. And I was like, the reason we don't have that rug out and we've got it in the garage is because you hated it, didn't you? The first time we put it down. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't sure. <laughs> you wouldn't even let us roll it out properly. You were like, I hate it. I hate it. So it's been sat in the garage for ages, interrupting everything in there. And, um, sorry, we were just distracted by a knock on the door. But pretty much, yeah, so we rolled this, well, we didn't even get to roll it out properly. Elliot was like, absolutely not, I hate it. So we had to put it in the garage. And then, yeah, he came up with this amazing idea for this rug. And I was like, we literally bought that rug. So. <laughs> We gave it another try in the space and we really like it, don't we? I think it's unreal. I wasn't sure for the first few minutes. No, I really like it. I think it looks so good. But yeah, we thought we'd show you what it looks like in the space. Obviously still a few things we want to do, but I think it kind of lightens up the room. Today's been quite a gloomy day. Anyway, it's like pretty much raining the whole day. Yeah, yeah. it's terrible. So that section of the house is always a bit darker. Um, but yeah, I feel like on a bright day, well, I don't know, just the light colour 
brightens up the room a bit, doesn't it? Sure. Right. So this is the room with the new rug. Go on, sit down. What does everyone think? Am I doing a practice? Yeah. Let me just take these shoes off. Oh, I'm with the footstools, which is the main part of this video I just forgot to mention. That... I think this is unreal. It's just honest. such a vibe. Completed the whole, the whole room. It has, because I think it does lighten the room. It definitely does. I wasn't convinced first because I actually really liked having the striped stools and the rug. But I feel like, and the rug being like a pattern, but up close is actually quite a lot of texture to the rug. Okay, so this is what we are working with. What do you think of the stools, Els? I'm very impressed. Are you happy with them? I'm, if, if, we, if you told me that you paid good money for those, I'd be like, they're pretty decent. Thank you, I appreciate that. I was, I mean, it was a bit of a stress, <laughs> but we got there in the end. So these are stools up close very professional if I do say so myself apart from a couple of the corners are just not a hundred percent but we will ignore that and then this is the rug I actually know that a lot of you guys liked the rug when I showed it in that video but somebody <laughs> somebody didn't like it <laughs> um, but I'm actually glad that we've made use of it I find it funny that I literally found this rug on the internet just earlier today I think going we need to buy that rug and we'd already bought it. I thought he was joking. I was like, surely this is a joke. Because also for me, it was actually one of the best situations ever. Because imagine going online, wanting to buy something and then already having it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like imagine that. Instant imagine. Delivery. Amazing. So the only thing that I feel like we need to do now, personally, is... <laughs> I feel like we're all in like a meeting now. <laughs> so it is to bring in some of the more like orangey tones, which I'll show you in a second of like the fireplace and that chair here. So maybe like some orangey cushions, do you know what I mean? How orange? So as in like this, like, like browny orange. Yeah. Because this colour is a bit random now. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Maybe just like a bit of, in like a bit of an accent. So we were also looking at lamps before. I tried to convince Elliot that this lamp, I still think it's so nice would be the right thing for the space but he thought it looked like a hat so I don't yeah. think we're getting that one but the one maybe that's got the glass thing so we saw this one earlier on Denal which looked really nice my only reservation was the one that I tried to put together was like going to be about £60 and this one's like 140 or something so yeah this is what I meant by kind of like the orangey brown maybe just bring it a bit more into this area then some nice pictures on the wall and I think that with a lamp and we're about done, aren't we? <laughs> you widow. And this is my little setup, little laptop setup. <laughs> Very sweet. So I'm gonna get comfy on this sofa for the rest of the evening, get my feet up, think about what I wanna do in terms of like styling the top of these. I definitely want some kind of like little wicker tray or something on that so you can put a cup of tea on so they can kind of act as little like coffee tables as well but yeah very very happy i'm gonna wrap the video up here but thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed another little homey video i feel like it's the first like properly like making progress with the house video that i've done for ages and i've actually really enjoyed it so yeah let me know if you want to see more videos like this i'm really excited about upcoming housey kind of things and yeah please subscribe if you do want to stick around and i'll see you in my next video bye